Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Flea Market Finds episode 21 part 2. So if you've just arrived here randomly from some recommended video or something, uh, yeah, this is part 2 of the Flea Market Finds video. Uh, so feel free to click up here if you want to see the first part. If you've already seen the first part and you're here from that first part, then you know exactly what's going on and what we're going to be having a look at because it's in the title and all that sort of stuff. And that is some fake beats, which, yeah, I know I haven't really done any... I've done the Beats pill... Bluetooth speakers on here and as I said I used to collect a bunch of fake beats and I've got a whole box out in my garage if I have a picture I'll splice it in here and yeah for three items for 10 bucks I thought why not why not and yeah there's three beats items for 10 bucks what did I get I'm gonna start with the most non funny one because they're gonna wait and I made sure I asked I said does this qualify for the three for ten and she said yeah sure why not okay cool so in here well, there's no Beats logo, obviously, so it can only mean one thing. Beats by Dre, quick start, guide, and warranty. I wonder if the warranty is still in place. Yep, connect, power, yeah. So, oh, yeah, okay. 2010. Was that long ago? 2010? Nah. Oh, yeah, then again, yeah, I guess. And these are a pair of the cheapest Beats Studios that money can buy. Is there anything else in here? No, that's it. These are still... Are they brand new? Probably not. I don't know. They're a very um, orange colour. They weigh close to nothing. There is no cushioning up here. There's a screw just right there. Okay. Yeah, there's usually cushioning there. Uh, the ear cups. A just stiff, rock hard. Um, the hinges are just all plastic. That's all plastic in there. Right one, left one. And no, these don't take batteries. Usually you twist and put the batteries in there and that's it. These have the monster logo, which means, yeah, they're the old school ones. They're basically old school ones. So I don't know how long she was holding on to these for, but she had a bunch of other beat stuff. And yeah, just obviously that was the trend back in the day and they didn't sell them and now they're selling them super cheap which i yeah um let me plug my iphone into these oh the cable also is just a 3.5 mil um auxiliary cable just a standard generic one doesn't have beats monster or anything like that on it but you know so be it so it was three items for ten dollars so that means they were three dollars and 33 cents each roughly which is yeah pretty good i wonder what they were originally selling for all right i'm going to test these out and then I'll let you know what they sound like. Okay, so I just played a bit of a bass heavy song in them. The bass is quite thumping and all the ranges of sound are pretty muffled. For a cheap pair of headphones that you just don't care about or whatever, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. And back in the day, I used to wear Beats all the time because, you know, they were just cheap and they were everywhere and the replicas sounded pretty much exactly like the real thing. I'm pretty sure they still do. I'll give these a solid 6 out of 10. Muffled noise, pretty poor, cheap construction, but it's got heavy bass. And bass is all that matters. Not really, but, you know, so be it. Okay, so that's the first one done, which is the most uninteresting one. At least it came with this, though. This is worth, like, five bucks on its own, isn't it? The next ones. All right, let's go with these ones first. I was just contemplating which ones I should go with. But these are Beats by Dr. Dre with controlled talk, inline mic, and all that sort of stuff. These are MD98 HD high-resolution headphones by Monster. And as you should all know, they did not make anything close to looking like these. I don't even know what these are supposed to be representing. Um, but they have the B on them, so they're Beats. And it says Beats by Dr. Dre. And on the side here, we have Beats by Dr. Dre, Monster, High Performance Sound, all that sort of stuff. Is there any spelling mistakes? Because that's always funny. I found one. Accurate speaker design delivers the details of today's hottest music with extreme clarity and deep bass. So today is pretty much how I would say it in my accent. Today, 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 today. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, large high efficiency drivers play loud without distortion. Okay. Clear and accurate. Uh, not accurate. It's either accurate or accurate. Sound with reduced interference. Tangle-free cable. Innovative 
patent pending cable design is ultra flexible and tangle free. Noise isolation, sealed in ear design reduces external noise for a better music experience. Custom fit, multiple earbud sizes for the most comfortable, secure fit. Protective case, compact case for safe storage, three year limited warranty, one year limited warranty. What? Three year limited warranty, one limit. Wow, you guys are confusing the fuck out of me. The packaging is recyclable. How could you stuff recyclable up? Okay, anyways. Uh, on the back here, yep, there's LeBron James. Uh, sound is energy. Music is a powerful motivator. As a kid, it was my escape. If, hang on. As a kid, if it was my escape, now it's the driving force that takes my training to a whole other level, no matter if I, mm, on the court or off the court. Music is instilled into my soul and keeps me Okay, well, there's a bit, yeah, keeps me going. Power Beats represents everything that music means. It says Power Beats, okay. LeBron James, aka King James, and a signature. Hear what you've been missing, Beats Tour. Oh, wait, what? This box makes no sense. High resolution headphones are designed to reveal the full sound of today's digital music, including sonically demanding hip hop, rock, and RB that crush ordinary earbuds. Extreme clarity, deep bass, full power, all that sort of stuff. No tangles, more time to play. That's bullshit because even on real beats, they tangle up. If you just roll them around in your hand, they'd already tangle up. But, anyways, uh, on the bottom, monster, all that sort of stuff. It says open there, which I did, and they look funny. Also, the photo says photo, Devin D. Haven. I'm going to Google you and see if you actually took that photo. But otherwise, ta-da! At least the packaging looks okay. Because <laughs> these look god awful. All right, let's all right, let's let's do this. Oh boy! Oh my god! These are so plastic. The hinges are plastic. I feel like I'm gonna break this. I feel like it's just gonna go. Wow, oh, it's also very sharp, the plastic as well. If you catch your finger in there, that's it. See you later, finger. Uh, the Beats logo is... It's crooked. Uh, the wire is already soldered into the headphones, so you can't remove it. I don't know why you'd want to remove it. There's no control talk. You guys are liars. And that's probably going to rub off if you use these for more than two minutes. It also says Beats by Dre there. There's too many trademarks going on, but I guess they've got to say something. Oh, yeah, that feels like that's going to... Okay. All right. I am going to try these out with a bass-heavy song again. Let's see what these sound like. Oh, God. These these just... There's nothing... <laughs> nothing to them. Oh, God. Putting them on feels horrible. Oh, and they stink. Fumes of cheapness from 2010. So I listen to the same song that I listen to on the studios. These actually don't sound half bad. Yes, they're muffled. Bass is heavy, but these are actually quite better than the previous ones. I was kind of half thinking that the drivers may be the same size, but they're, no, they're definitely not. These are smaller. These, for some reason, they just sound a lot better. So for me, these are about a 7 out of 10. Build quality is meh. But sound is actually not too bad. I wouldn't use these for more than 5 minutes because honestly, they're just... They weigh nothing. I think a slice of bread weighs more than these, to be fairly honest. That was those ones. We spent more time talking about the packaging than the actual headphones themselves. But yeah, that's them. I mean, I guess they kind of resemble studios if they were dumbed down and made cheaper. Or the EPs, actually. If the EPs were a little bit egg-shaped. You know what, anyways. The last one. I've never seen these before. And this one caught my attention when I was looking through all the crap on the ground. I seen these and went... What the hell? Okay. And these are brand new, which is cool. These are demon sound. <laughs> My ears are about to get possessed. Uh, this is supposedly like Tanto and some coordinates. That might point you to the middle of Siberia or something like that. I have no idea. Maybe I should type that into Google Maps and see what I can see. But there's no Beats by Dre or anything on here. It's just a black box with demon sound. There is all this stuff on the back here. Demon Sound makes your everyday music experience complete. We give you functional quality and acoustic performance together with a unique design. Doesn't look unique to me, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Choose from three original styles, all available in a palette of 14 colors. Fuck me, 14 colors. Jesus. Okay, Demon Sound personalizes sound and amplifies your individual choice. The Tanto is constructed for maximum mobility without the compromise of performance. Adorned with a sleek and minimalistic look, we designed it thinking you want the full sound experience in a lightweight and portable headphone made for everyday use to be taken along wherever you go. Like a good friend. Ah. 
Well, at least they put friend on there. That's, you know, every Chinese product has to have friend on it. Okay. Uh, size adjustment made to fit everyone. Thank you. 40 mil handmade driver unit. Oh, it's kind of, okay. 120 centimeter fabric cord. Ooh. 3.5 mil stereo plug. Yep. Microphone and remote. Yeah. One year premium replacement warranty. So it's got a button on it as well. But these are not Beats. These Tanto. I will have to Google that when I'm done with this. This is going to be interesting because I honestly don't know what these are. You're going to see. This is going to be a first. So these have probably been around since, yeah, 2011 maybe. Dead stock. And the box weighs a little bit. Oh, there's a little love heart there. It's a good friend. Okay, um, how does one, how would one get on that train of opening it? If I rip the box, I lose value in this. In seven years, this shit is going to be worth a ton of money. Okay, got it. Got it very carefully. All right, here we go. Ooh, demon sound. <laughs> I guess I wasn't expecting that much. You know the headphones in the 80s, you know, for the Sony Walkman and stuff? Pow. All right. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a rubber. Okay, that's actually quite nice. That's one thing. Oh, oh, we got important information here. Let us see what this says. Hang on, do not throw this box away just yet. Important parts and information enclosed. Okay. All right. Here they are here. They're very lightweight. But yeah, they've got a retro design to them, which I like. Obviously, these are taking off some other design of headphones. The Tanto or whatever. I'll have to look it up, as I said, in editing. There's these foam... Ear cups, which, you know, they feel okay, but the headphones are, yeah, really, really light. But that's what they're meant to be. The band is actually, I would say, steel, I would, I'd imagine. And the cord is not fabric. There is a button on there with a microphone on these. Amazing. Yes, I can. I can actually adjust. Oh, shit. Okay. I've sworn a lot in this video. Let's plug these in. If these sound better than the rest of them, best $10 I've ever spent. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and put these little tiny. They're cute. Oh man, they feel so weird. How does this make any sense? These are clear as crystal. I mean, they're not exactly the best and not perfect. Tiny bit muffled. Bass is quite natural. Everything sounds really nice with these. And they were really comfortable as well, wearing them on my head. Oh shit, the button. I didn't even test the button. And it's tested, the button does work. The button actually does function. So if I hold this, yep, Siri comes up. And I'm actually happy to report that the microphone on these works perfect. It's not the best sounding microphone, but it works. So out of all of these, these sound the best, considering they actually have some sort of a steel band here, I'd say that these are the best ones out of a bunch, like quality and build quality wise. But yeah, I just don't know what they're ripping off, but a very minimalistic design. And I like that. It's just got the Beats logo on there and that's it. And that's all. I didn't know what to expect. And that was quite interesting. That is is the three Beats items that I picked up for $10. She had some tours, which I've got plenty of them. I picked out the most oddball ones, which was these ones and the MD86, these things. And the studios I just picked up as a last resort because the rest of them, as I said, were just tours. And I've already got like plenty of crappy tours out in the garage and all that sort of stuff. But if you guys want to see a Beats collection or well, my fake Beats collection, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. And I'm happy to provide once I've gone on my hiatus and taken a break and all that sort of stuff, which is only going to last a month. After I come back, I'll um, think about doing it. If that's if you guys want to see it. I know you guys want to see a shoe collection. Um, that, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. 8 out of 10 for these ones. 7 out of 10 for the eggshell things. Egg-shaped ones, whatever. And the studios, I think I said a 6 out of 10 for sound. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one because I certainly enjoy doing it, and I love reading the backs of these, because they're just so funny. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video, which I'm, oh, I need to do a video on the Supreme Yeezys. So I will do that soon, okay?
Uh, take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video, which, let's hope it's sneakers. Hopefully. I'll keep you guys posted. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.